Hey everyone, welcome to the T4 Show. My name is Michael Manna, and as you can see here, I'm watching the NFL Red Zone channel on Comcast Cable, and I'm gonna be using my Google TV today. Once again, I discovered a few things, some which I understand, some are, I'm still getting to learn, but it has a lot to do with this menu button, which is two keys over from the space bar in between the Alt and the Control key, and you can really do a lot with the menu button. For instance, even from here, even from watching the Red Zone live, if I hit that menu button, which is basically four lines uh, from top to bottom, I hit that menu button, I have the guide, I have the menu, I have info, I have live, DVR, and also more. Now obviously the guide will take me into this. I can hit the menu button once again and, and even access it from the guide as I'm watching Red Zone up in the box in the right hand corner. I go to menu, same thing, brings up my quick menu uh, from the Comcast cable guide. Pretty cool because then I don't have to even hit the hot buttons and go one step. I get a lot of information at once with that menu button. So I'll hit it off here and once again, I can hit the menu button even with the quick menu up, have info and brings up the info there so it, it takes off the quick menu but still I can hit the menu button above there go back to live and obviously can control my DVR with uh, the keys on the bottom right hand side of the Logitech review keyboard so let's hit menu again go to the DVR brings up everything on the DVR pretty cool that way I can access that directly there was a lot of people asking uh, if you need to go step by step you can access your recordings directly from the menu, watching any program or anywhere in the uh, in the TV uh, portion of the Google TV. Unfortunately, I don't think you could search your DVR much like Universal Search throughout the Google TV. So let's go up here and let's go to more. Now more you have recall, which will basically take you to the last channel you visited. And also there's an incognito, um, which I haven't really researched a whole lot, but by default it's off. So I'm gonna turn that on. And from here even, I can go to the home page. Now what I really like about it is you see in the background, the NFL Red Zone is playing. Now what I'm gonna do is go back uh, to TV, full screen. Now when I go to home screen again, the NFL Red Zone channel or anything else is playing in the background as I access the menu, which I think is really neat and uh, a good little thing to, to show you what's going on even as you browse. Now, the menu key on your home screen is really interesting because there's some things, like I haven't used the bookmarks and I've used the most visited or even the queue, but what I have accessed is the what's on uh, portion. So here's what's on down here, and this is very useful, much like in the opening uh, video that I, that I did with the setup and unguided tour. Now, if I hit the menu key here, I can edit things that are right here. Now, you can see I can even delete stuff that I do not watch. But what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go, and you see here I can browse here. Now I have what's on here. Now what I want to do is click on it, and I want to move it all the way to the top, because I use that so much more than anything. So I'll hit the OK button again. Now i am maybe go applications up here. I use the applications a lot. And maybe even the spotlight, bring the spotlight up. First down for the Steelers. Right here, I'm gonna put a blow applications. Now Amazon Video On Demand, I don't really use. I could delete that if I want to, but I won't. And let's see what the queue brings up. That explores podcasts and all the other stuff. I'm gonna leave it right where it's at. Most visited. Um, maybe I'll bring that up there and do that and hit okay. Go down to done. And now you see my home screen is set up the way I want to. And this is just the beginning with Google TV, in my, in my opinion, where you could put shortcuts to Gmail, Calendar, maybe Google Docs, a bunch of other stuff. And just to show this again with uh, what's on, I really think this is a great feature. And as you can see, like I said, I am watching NFL Red Zone in the background. Now, if I wanted to, like I said, I can hit the picture and picture button in the bottom right hand corner. And I think I have to be in TV actually to do that. But let's go to here, like the what's on. This shows you the channels and how much time's left in each thing. So I think that's really a neat little thing too. But it's just the menu button really adds another feature, like I said, 
bringing this up, even going to settings right from the home screen, instead of trying to look for applications, then settings, you can go to it in one quick, e quick and easy step, bring up all your settings to the right. And I'm still watching the NFL Red Zone. I gotta really keep stressing that it's really cool that I can do all these things with the Google TV while I'm still watching TV. And it really adds a function of um, productivity and multitasking that I really do like. So that's nice and uh, very cool. Really like it. So, uh, and actually I downloaded the Logitech Harmony Remote app for my Evo with the Android operating system. That is gonna come either in the next video or a couple videos after. So Google TV, the Logitech review is $2.99 at Best Buy. I will be reviewing other things such as the video camera and maybe even get a media smart server to connect it over the network to access my videos. So uh, if you have any requests, any other things you want to see uh, regarding the Google TV, the Logitech review, please email at 4 show gmail.com or leave a comment on this YouTube video. For now, thank you. Best of luck in all your future NFL Red Zone endeavors.